I believe it was circa 1970s when the Shy Lights came out with a tune that struck the fancy of the whole world entitled, Have You Seen Her? It posed a question about uh, a man who was looking for this woman that he loved, but he could not locate her. She evaded him. She escaped his immediate touch and presence, and he wanted to be connected with this woman. Have you ever found yourself asking that same question about God? Have you seen him? Is he still there? Why isn't he answering my prayers? In this episode of Bishop Lippman Live and Relevant Word, I want to give you God's address <laughs> and tell you where God is when it seems like God isn't doing anything in your life. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Bishop Lipman Live here with Relevant Word. I am so excited to share these moments with you. If this is your first time to my channel or watching a video, welcome. And you got to subscribe. Come on, subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of the BLL family. That way, every time new content is loaded, you'll be among the first to know about it. So be sure to subscribe to Dr. A. Reginald Lipman on YouTube. Also, go ahead and get hooked up with the podcast. You can go to my website and get all the information, www.bishoplittman.org. Well, in today's session, I want to give you God's address. There are times when I pray and it seems like I can't get a hold of God. There are times when I'm calling on God and it seems like God is not answering, God is not responding. There are times that I wonder, God, are you still there? Have you ever been there? Come on, be honest with me. Type it in. I've been there, or yes, or I know what you're talking about. I think most of us have gone through those types of experiences and moments when we wondered about God and we were almost asking the shy lights question. Tell me, have you seen him? Have you seen him? I know I have. Well, listen, even though there are times that we're wondering where God is, if God cares, if God is still there, I found God's address in Psalm 46 verse 1 is 12 little words it's gonna bless you God is our refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble man 12 little words but in those 12 little words in Psalm 46 verse 1 we find out something about God that even when God is not talking even when God is not answering even when God is not moving the way we think he should, he is always right by our side. We've got a resource for life's troubles. We have a solution for life's storms. We are not left without. God does not walk away and abandon us like a father who doesn't care about his child. He is not a God who has walked off and left his creation. Sometimes God is listening and watching while we are supposed to be worshiping and working. You see, the only time a teacher is silent is when the teacher is giving a test. And all of the times the teacher saying, listen students, look at this students, pay attention students, you might see this on a test. But when the test comes, the teacher can't talk and teach at that time. In fact, that is the time for an assessment to see how well the students listened while the teacher was talking. Lean in, I wanna bless you real good right here and do it in just a half a second. God wants you to know that when he's silent, when he appears not to be working the way you think he should, when he's not moving as swiftly as you think he should, when he's not answering your request and when he is not coming at your beck and call, it's because you're calling him, but he's already there. There's no need for me to answer when you're calling over there if I'm sitting right here with you. The only reason why you would call me over there or back there is because you're not recognizing I'm right here. 
That's what God is saying to somebody right now. God is our refuge, which means our safe shelter, our hiding place. God is our strength, which means he gives us the ability to keep on going even when things don't make sense, even in times like we're living in, when jobs are threatened, when literally human lives are being threatened. We are given the resource of God's safety, God's shield, that's the refuge, God's strength, that's the support that pushes us through. God is our refuge and strength. Watch this. Here he is. You've been looking for him. Here he is. A very present help. He is present. He is right here in the time of trouble, which means it's right here that whenever trouble is present, you don't have to call for God over there. He says, I'm right here with you. He is a very present help in time of trouble. Psalm 23 is so powerful because in verse 1, 2, and 3, we see God out front. He's over there leading us. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads me beside the still waters. And he does all of this thing, all of this for me, he restores me and all of that. But when you drop down to verse number 5 and verse number 6, it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's five and six. But when you get to verse number four, you discover something different. It's like God relocates. God changes positions in the midst of the problem. Because in verse one, two, and three, God is out front leading us. In verse five and six, he is behind us. Goodness and mercy are following us. But when you get to Psalm 23, verse number four, God shifts positions. He's not out front leading you. He's not behind you, following you. He is beside you. Psalm 23, 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art right here with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You see, you have to understand that when God is not responding, when God is not moving, so it seems, it might just be that he's sitting quietly beside you. Maybe. God is monitoring and giving you an assessment to see how much you learned while he was speaking to you. So when you're trying to find God, you don't have to look all over the world. You don't have to ask, have you seen him? Have you seen him? Have you seen him? Just look over and say, thank you for being by my side. And I need you to know that he's by your side. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never abandon you. He'll never walk away from you. You are his beloved. He loves you and he's got your back. I want to pray with you right now. Bow your head if you can. Father, thank you so much for my friend who joins me today on this live. Bless those who are listening to the audio. God, there are times that we are discouraged and we don't know how to find you, but thank you for the truths that you have revealed to us in Psalm 46, 1, and even in Psalm 23 to let us know we have no need to fear, no need to worry, because you are close by our side. There's never time that you're not with us, and we thank you that you never leave us, you never forsake us. Even in these times of uncertainty, these times of pain, these times of agony, these times of wondering and searching, these times of somewhat hopelessness. You're still God. You're still great and you're still mighty. You're still strong and we still trust you. We give our whole selves to you. Help us to be a blessing to others in these times and we give you praise in Jesus name. Amen. I certainly enjoy sharing these moments with you. I hope you are enjoying being blessed by today's word. Do me a favor. Do your friends a favor. Share, 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 share and share alike. Hey, if you'd like to uh, receive prayer and it be kept in confidence, I'd love to pray with you and pray for you. Send me an email to prayerwithbishop at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to study the Word of God a little deeper, I'd love for you to join my e-class. It's very simple. It doesn't cost you a thing. All you have to do is send me an email to clearstudies at gmail.com, clearstudies at gmail.com, and prayerwithbishop at gmail.com. And I will send you, uh, as a part of my e-class, free PDF study guides along with uh, audio that you can listen to to help you abs absorb the Word of God for your life. Well, I love you so much. Make sure you share this with others. Like, comment, and share. Love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Now you have God's address. 
Just look beside you and say, Lord, thank you for being right here with me. I love you. Peace to you.